I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Cancer, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we got the three of wands and it's with the eight of cups. So the three of wands is actually telling me that um, you felt like um, you were you were looking for expansion and growth with your person. Yeah, because the three of wands can be about feeling like your ship had finally come in. And you had made a decision to go forward. Yeah, you could have been, for some of you, you were waiting on your person to give you a sign and you got it and, and you were ready to get on board you felt like finally this person has come around we, yeah you felt like the two of you could finally get some growth and expansion yeah you felt like your ship had finally arrived yeah with this person and you were you had made a decision to go forward but then something happened the Eight of Cups, the card, the card that's below the word pass. Something happened. Looks like they walked away. The Eight of Cups. See how she's getting out of there. She's sprinting. Somebody walked away. For a lot of you, it was your person. Yeah, things had gone sour or you felt like something happened and that made the connection go sour. Eight of Cups, walking, someone walking away, someone who withdrew, um, moved on. You felt like your person abandoned the connection. Yeah, so that was the recent past energy between you and your person. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got the... Ace of Wands and the Seven of Cups. Now, the Ace of Wands, it's about new beginnings. Whenever you hear the word Ace in the tarot, you usually indicate some type of powerful new beginning. So your person could be reaching out to you, wanting to do this, wanting to get it started again. They do have passion for you. The Wands can be about having a lot of passion, so they might want a fresh new start with you. For some of you, yeah, you can expect this person to um, try to connect with you. They walked away, but looks like they're back. Ace of Wands. Yeah, they could be wanting some type of, like I said, um, some powerful fresh new start with you. So don't be surprised if they reach out. But the Seven of Cups is here, so this is telling me that you could be wondering if your person has a lot of options. You might be wondering if they're dealing with a whole bunch of other people. Because look at that Seven of Cups, the card that's below the word present. For a lot of you, you're dealing with a, a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces with the Seven of Cups showing up here. Yeah, for a lot of you, they, they keep the door open, and you know it. They've got a whole bunch of options. But it looks like they might. With the Ace of Wands here, they could be trying to come back. But they walked away. I don't know what happened. You, For some of you, you don't know what happened either. Because you were ready to go forward. Thought you, were, you thought you were going to get expansion and growth from this person. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the hangman, and it's with the seven of wands. Now, the hangman is about being in your head. You could not know which way to go. 
in or out, up or down, yes or no. So this connection is leaving you confused. Yeah, it, for a lot of you, it left you confused or you could start to feel confused coming up. And you could feel like um, with the Seven of Wands, You could feel like you could feel like at one point you wanted to win this connection. Yeah, yeah, you did because you you were ready. You felt like your ship had finally come in with with this person. Um, seven of Wands can be about wanting to win, wanting to come out on top, wanting to be the last man standing. This could be how your person is feeling about you. Seven of Wands is here. They could be wanting to... They do want a new beginning with you. They could be wanting to win you in some kind of way. Maybe now they're there. For some of you, they could be wanting to... They want to win you back. But you feel like they've got options. Too many options. And you feel that's what probably caused the connection to go sour all of a sudden. At one point you wanted to win, and now it looks like they could be wanting to win you. Win you back. They want a fresh new start, Cancer. Like I said, some of you are dealing with um, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah. So, let's see what the outcome is. We got justice, and it's with the moon. So, justice is about getting some clarity, some truth. Yeah, you could um, be thinking that whatever they're saying to you is that you feel like there are lies. The moon card is here, the card that's below the word outcome. You're feeling like, you could be feeling like they're holding back. You could be feeling like they have too many secrets. Something is hidden. You could be feel, feeling like they're deceptive. Yeah, but I'm getting the impression cancer that this person might want to really try to do right by you because justice can be about wanting to do the right thing make things right so yeah they they could be wanting to change for you but it looks like it could be um a lot of work for them that's what i'm getting but it looks like they might want to do right by you Justice is here, but you just feel like they're, they could be the type that tell a lot of lies. And you just don't feel like you could trust them. They, this person had options when you, the two of you were together. And you probably feel like they still do. But yeah, so this person could be confusing you because they could be reaching out to you. Um, wanting a fresh new start. And you just don't trust it. So... That is the reading that I have for you, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Cancer, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe. During this crazy virus season, hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. I hope you come back and join me for the next Cancer reading, which will be in about another... Uh, four or five days just in case this reading did not resonate maybe the next reading will also keep in mind when you get the readings the roles of the people can be switched yes they can be reversed 
Meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, maybe even a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Cancer, I can never say enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading and take care.